Look at this. I actually have bunnies on Easter. These guys are super, super sleepy because they have been exercising all morning out in their bunny cage, the bunny sanctuary, playing underneath the shade of the Persian mulberry and sugar cane. I've only ever known two Zen masters, both of them bunnies. Thumper's one of them. Look at how sweet they are. They are played with so much that they have just become pretty fast, these very sweet little critters. You see, Thumper gets groomed a lot, so his fur just looks like really beautiful. And these are the only rabbits I've ever owned, but man, are they soft. You know, rabbits, especially these little rabbits like this, are timid by their nature anyway, but we found they're very sweet, you know. They've received nothing but good experience in their life so I would expect it would be a sweet animal here's Penelope Penelope is tuckered out actually <laughs> I made this I made this um, I don't know barrier waterproof barrier out of an old inner tube that my daughter's like to take down to the beach you got a hole in it so i just cut it in half a minute it's nice actually waterproof it's kind of translucent so you know it lets in some light but when it's uh sunny in the mornings i, I put it down so they don't have all the direct sunlight on penelope has actually got albinism in her genes which is very common in rabbits especially white rabbits and if you see it in her eyes as you can tell she has the most beautiful eyes but there's a little bit of red around the blue because she's got, it looks almost like three tails. Fuzz, fuzz, tail. Little grayish tail. Grayish ears. And this is an example of how incredibly mellow these rabbits are now. Just after having them for a couple of months. But just constant attention. Fresh greens. Yeah, they'll sleep for most of the afternoon. We've already got them in a really good pattern, which I was wondering how much I'd actually enjoy having rabbits. And my wife and I both said, well, let's see how we like having rabbits. And we love it. I can say definitely that's the case. It's been just a great addition to the family, if nothing else. I mean, the rabbit turds are amazing and have changed my entire backyard experience in terms of Everything back there is just, <laughs> I'm so happy about it. Everything is just blowing up with greenness and wonderfulness. And I've still got a couple more components which I need to put in, but which I want to put in is a better word choice. But this component fed more than just the yard. I mean, these little creatures have really, really been a great addition to the family, so to speak. Great pets. <laughs> hey Thump, what are you thinking about? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Now look at this. You know what rabbits like to do. Rabbits like to dig. So we let them dig. I just figure that's really a rabbit's upper body workout. That's their, so they, we let them dig a hole, fill it back in. Some of the areas where we feel like they might get out, put a couple blocks just to make it more difficult. But yeah, we let them dig. And the interesting thing in this enclosure is that things I'm planting are really starting to grow. Thank you to my neighbor who gave me this cutting that 
I was able to grow into this small tree here. This is a Persian mulberry tree. They say these are some of the best mulberries, according to what I researched. But um, I actually ate one, but it was on a bit on the cutting, which isn't representative of the whole of an actual fruit from a mature tree. So I'm going to hold judgment. The interesting thing was Thumper actually pruned it for us. He cut the tip off. It was a few more leaves out here. He actually cut that, and now it's growing back a nice shoot. So they're actually they're trimming the mulberry tree. They like to actually go under it. Since the leaves are so gigantic, look at the size of these. Everbearing mulberry tree was is much smaller. You could probably fit 10 everbearing mulberry leaves in the size of this one Persian mulberry. Look at how green, too. Lush, lush green growth, and that's there's it's growing in beach sand. I was just like, look at that, that is just loose beach sand, it's growing in there. But the other thing that's in there are these rabbit manures, and so loving it. I'm gonna let the grass grow a little bit higher. They eat some of this grass, we see them chewing on it from time to time. But got my worm farm there, and this is interesting, they've been mowing down the lemongrass planted all things they can chew on so they, they come and mow it and this is all lemongrass in here I like that and then this is a, a red sugar cane it's actually getting pretty tall you can see like the lower leaves all got chewed <laughs> they love sugar cane that's one of the things we let them chew on as a treat it's real sugary so you don't want to give them too much of it but that's a green sugar cane cutting and I actually planted two fig tree cuttings right here and they immediately mowed them down to nubbles and uh, that's an areca palm, believe it or not. This lung, <laughs> they ate the first two right down. So, hey, Penelope. Maybe having a little water. Look at those eyes. Oh, the mulberry stick. This is one of their favorite things to do. Is to play with the mulberry stick. See if I can get interested. Yeah, nudge it. Yeah. Want to play with the mulberry stick? I feed them three kinds of wood that love to chew on bark they say like you know for a rabbit's health everybody talks about hay when they talk about feeding rabbits but the sticks and rabbits chew on wood bark a lot in the wild and we feed them mulberry sticks feed them fig sticks and we feed them oak sticks oh look at that hey jack Hi. come out see the bunnies playing with Thumper is stationary. <laughs> Back him up. Back it up, Thumper. I'd like it better if you came to the front. Maybe you'd like one of these. You can't resist a stick. That's it. Come on. Now, it's the interesting thing is I looked... They sell, like, applewood sticks and stuff on the internet. But, of course, you don't know... I don't know what's been done to those sticks. Were they grown with you know, pesticides or something that's not good for the rabbits? I know where these sticks came from. I grew this thing from a cutting. <laughs> he's moving the sticks so we can... Yeah, he's moving his sticks. It's interesting. Male rabbit, thumper. He does not like to have his sticks relocated out of the stick positions he's put them in. He'll put them back. Hmm. <laughs> now Penelope and Thumper are brother and sister. See that? They go <laughs> bunny butt to bunny butt. Oh, oh yeah. Thumper relieving himself. That's the other thing. These bunnies. Yeah. These bunnies will go 
to the bathroom in the same spot. Like they'll go in that corner and that corner and never up front, never. They pick a spot instinctively to go, which is kind of cool. Because that's what bunnies do in the wild. Yeah, number one. And the other thing is, <laughs> I think the rabbits are happier when they have their own space too. Like, you know, they're very mellow. They don't have to defend their territory. It's there. You know, of course, if we and now at their age, if we let Penelope and Thumper um, be in the same area together, we would have baby bunnies in 31 days, and we don't want that. So separate, but they get lots of attention. Yeah. Another cool thing is growing the greens for the bunnies. Like I found, I I can't eat all the greens I grow, but we've got greens growing all over the place. Here's our bunny statue in the entrance. Uh, whoa. <laughs> These are carrots. I don't want to pull the carrot out because I'm just trying to... Grow them for the greens only. There we go. Now, what bunny doesn't love... Mmm, smells so good. You want to feed him? Penelope's getting ready to go down for the for the snooze. Hey Penelope, you're almost asleep. I hate to wake you up, but oh yeah, I put her to sleep. I have fresh greens for you. No, she's too mellow. I'm gonna just leave it in her bowl for later. Oh, she got the sniff of it though. When she gets onto the scent, yeah, it's right here. If the rabbit's not gonna eat carrot greens it's either too sleepy or it might be sick but in Penelope's case it's definitely sleepy because she had so much exercise she did. yeah she's running around the cage running around the bunny run they really the interesting thing is they really do go fast around the bunny cage like they love to to run around Eat some of that hay Another interesting thing about having bunnies is they, they don't seem to mind when you pet them while they're eating at all. Cat, dog, not the case necessarily. Thumper is in the full submissive pose here. With his fuzz blowing in the breeze. Yeah, pretty cool to have bunnies on Easter. I would say. Maybe I'll try the dill. I've got some dill growing out here. I've got lots of dill growing this year. Hmm. Oh, it smells so good. I grew many, many pots of dill. Mm, again, it smells so good. So these bunnies love the dill. You want to give them the prize? Okay. 
She got the sniffing of the dill. Here, if you give him the cut end, it's practically gonna not serve it. You can turn your nose at dill. No. What? Wow. Playing hard to get. All right, I'll leave it right there for you. That rabbit loves dill. Found out yummy. Have you discovered the dill yet? No, I kind of put it up in his nose so he could smell. Yeah, <laughs> he pulled it out of your hands. Nice. I'm gonna give her a lucky, a little lucky clover too. Well, it's unlucky clover, not lucky yet clover. So, oh, she discovered the dill. Okay. Let's go check out Penelope. She's she discovered the dill. She realized the dill's in her cage and now she's. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like they don't realize it. She discovered the dill. There's some clovers. Clover. You want a clover? Oh, Play with the stick. Bumper really wants his clover. Bumper will not turn his nose up at a clover. What is Penelope doing? Oh, she's getting a drink. No, she's not. Mm -hmm. Oh, stretching out. She's going down for the count. Thumper. 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 He's remodeling. Do you want to remodel your home? Penelope's doing the full-on sprawl. Well, That's the lucky rabbit foot you're... sprawl. They actually will sleep on their sides and on their back from time to time. Which is... your tail. Cool. Your tail. Yep, so, I don't know. Maybe you consider getting some rabbits. I'm glad we got rabbits. We're even thinking about getting one more. Yeah, Gumper came up to the front of the cage to lay down for more. What a great bunny. What do you think, Jack? Good to have bunnies on Easter, I think. Yeah, and this way of keeping them out in the fresh air and so on, you know, never freezes here, so. This is a good spot for them to be. They're basically sleeping in the summer breezes all afternoon, and running around their cage, running around the bunny run all morning and evening. Not a bad way to go. Thanks for watching Eat Your Backyard. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like these kinds of things. Hit the subscribe if you're not already. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.